Morning. Morning, Clive. Last game against Stoke, uh, change of formation, a couple of changes of personnel. You, you kept a clean sheet, might have won the game. What, what, what did you learn from, from that game? Uh, I thought that, well, the game, you look back at the game and I thought that we'd, that's the, one of the first times, one of the only times this season where we've had less possession than the opponent. Um, but we had the majority of the chances and just didn't take one of those. But those will come, you know, we we know we can score goals. We know we will score goals. I think that, um, you know, from from looking back at that that game and that those runner fixtures we've we've really been close to winning all of them but not won any of them you know so the, 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 I mean we talk about fine lines there's been fine lines because we've had most of the possession in all of the games bar that one we've had um, plenty of opportunities to score we don't really give them away I think if you look at our expected goals column, we would be in the top six having lost only two games. When you look at the expected goals scored and the expected conceded, then there is a bit of a discrepancy there at the moment. But um, like I say, we've had some poor decisions go against us uh, in certainly the, the Preston and West Brom games. But, you know, we've got to turn that that around. And, you know, from what I've seen in training this week, they've, they've been they've been sharp, they're ready to go and, and looking forward to it. You've got the draw against Stoke, which sort of at least end of that losing run. Did you feel that was a step forward? Yeah, I think so. Um, that was just to to break the rut. Obviously, we, we was on the back of like three or four losses in a row, which isn't a great sign. Uh, so we needed to come out of a point at least. Uh, obviously, it's a, a bonus to get a clean sheet alongside. Um, and I felt like we, we did enough to win the game. Um, it was just unlucky that we couldn't take the chances that we created. But it was a good performance all round. And... Uh, a lot we want to do all season, every season, is to make the home ground a fortress and to only have lost one game at home so far this season is, is a good start. Uh, and Callum O'Hare, I think he got another under twenty three's game under his belt, didn't he, during the, the, yeah. the break. It, 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 you're obviously having to be patient for him. It's, it, it's a long road back. It's been a long road anyway, you know, so what happens then, you make your way back and you have to work harder then you've worked, I mean, he's worked incredibly hard to get back to where he is and, and he's got to continue to do that to to keep improving, um, to get back to where he wants to be, where we want him to be and, and where he will be. But, you know, that'll be, uh, that again, that takes time. You know, you can't, you can't put a time on it. You put people under um, enormous pressure to try and get there. You don't need to do that because he's already, you know, trying to, uh, trying to get there. So... You know, we'll help him to do that, and uh, and then see where that see that where to, where that takes him, and then putting him in contention. He's he's already in contention, so you know he's worked hard enough to get back to that uh, to, to that stage. And the next step, not just for him, for others as well, is to uh, is to get into the starting lineup and then stay there. I have to bring up the thorny subject of, of corners because as as a team, you haven't scored for one for, for, for quite a while. You, you take some of them obviously. Is it, is it a frustration that people aren't getting on the on the end of them? Um, I can't blame the people in the box too much. Uh, I, I'll have to admit my corners haven't been the greatest at, at times, which is. Disappointed for myself personally because I've, I've taken throughout my whole career uh, through the through the academy and uh, through the 23s. So it's it's something I need to to be more consistent with for sure. Um, I do practice every day in training on on where to put it, certain things with with Dennis. Um, so yeah, my corners need to be better, but uh, I can't blame the people in the box for sure now. And Millwall, new manager, new young manager, mm. it's, it's second game. Does that make them quite hard to, to predict? Um, well, they played against Sheffield Wednesday. It's the the, the away game. Uh, I think obviously uh, he's a he's a really good coach. Um, has been coaching for a long time. Has coached at high level, um, as we know. And uh, uh, listening to him speak, he speaks really well. He's got clear thoughts about identity and and what he wants to do and how he wants to achieve that and and how he's going to go about that. But pragmatic and sensible with the way that he uh, he, he knows the uh, the level and the plays that he's got might take a little bit of time, but ultimately it's um, it's about again it comes down to us and what we can do. Um, you can't sort of second guess. You know you think they may do something in a certain way that might be tweaked. Um, again, formation personnel they've got 
people at their disposal that they can use. You know, it just depends what they've seen. I think they'll have worked for this um, during this period as well. So, you know, it'll be an interesting game. But again, it's one that we can uh, we can look forward to, and and hopefully, like I say, we can have another good performance which results in some points. And again, the away fan. I think it's two and a half thousand sold so far. So you've always got the away fans there for you. Yeah, they'll never let us down. They they will always be there, home and away. And uh, that's the best thing about Coventry. Like I say before, I think we've got the the best best fans in the league for sure. Um, even sticking through us through the tough times, and that's what I love. Uh, and Casey Palmer and Fabio Tavares. So how close are they now to, to being involved? Um, they're both training. So that's good. It's great to have both of them back. And Casey's just started to train with us now, so um, a lot closer to having a, a fully fit squad um, than we've had previously. So that's that's a good thing, and, and hopefully that can continue through this really tricky tricky period in terms of the games, the amount of games that we've got. <laughs>